Hello, friends. Now let's try to solve the integer to English words. Uh, okay, convert a non-negative integer to its English words representation. Given input is guaranteed to be less than 2 to the 31 minus 1. See example 123 and 12,345. And this is 1,234,500. 167. And this should be 1,234,567,891. How do you think about this problem? Uh, I think it's like simulate how we read these numbers. You will see actually we read them three digit by three digit. So we can approach the three digit by three digit and the, the only difference is the the thing after the three digits say this is one one million this is median and we read that 234 and uh, we append this thousand and the, the final is 567 so this is our approach we read the three digits by three digits and then we append the bigger units such like the thousand million and billion okay let's code uh, actually I uh, a little bit of cheat I write this thousands less than 20 tens advanced because I think that if I code it, it will be much slow and I said we need the Big units that is a thousand, a million, and a billion. The zero place should be empty. Why? Because that will be easily if one thousand, one thousand over one thousand, I will get one. So I will directly read it as a thousand, and then the million. So yes, it will be more simpler for for us to implement the function and we also let it less 20 because if it's less than 20 we should read them loud and the 10 then is 22 or 34 uh, so on forth so we should write them down okay let's implement this function h case check never forget if the number equal to zero we just return uh, the zero right Okay, this is a string related problem. So we may think about the use the string builder. It will be string builder. And we also in the, need the index y because we should handle the things after the three digits, such as the billion, million, thousand. And we start from the less to the to the more, to the smaller item to the larger item so we do the loop while the number not equal to zero or it greater than zero I think it basically it's the same but if the number module 1000 not equal to zero we should handle this three digits right and we use insert why because the index starts from zero so we read the very uh, small thing to the very large thing so we insert use insert and uh, we will use a temporary stream builder why because we want to handle the three digits use another function use a help function it's temporary a uh, temporary stream builder and the number module 1000 and we insert that now we get the temporary and we use temporary and we should append you see it have the white space so append the white space but we should first append the thousands thousands index and we append the space white space and every time we should index plus plus and we also update the number equal to number uh, divide 1000 and finally we return the string builder to string and uh, do not forget to 
remove the leading all the ending white space. Okay, let's implement this help function with the string builder sb and we also have the number. Okay, let's implement. If the number equal to zero, we definitely just return. We start from the small to the large. If the number less than 20, what should we do? We just uh, sb append the less then 20 the number okay and we do not forget to append the white space and we return okay how about if number less than 100 because in this case we may append the tens right so let's be append it's less than 100, so we should uh, append the, the tenth, the number over 10. And we append the y space. And we do the helper sb. This time, number module 10. Because, like, 94. We get the 90 and we only going to handle the 4, so we module 10. And else, if it's larger than 100, because we only ha handle 3 digits, if it's larger than 100, we should uh, append like, uh, because such like the 345, so we will get the less than. 20 less than 20 that number over 100 and we append the, the 100 100 once have space right okay then we handle the say the 345 so we will handle let's be number uh Module 100. Okay, this is our help function. If, uh, I think we have finished that. Let's see if we are correct. Okay, we are correct. So, okay, thank you for watching. Happy coding. See you next time. Bye.